Welcome back to Bridge Cable's YouTube channel. Today we're going to review with you the Fusion Splicer for fiber. While you watch this video, please keep in mind, when dealing with fiber optic whether at home or in the field, make sure that you are always wearing the proper safety gear. When you're stripping, make sure you leave a lot of room. The strippers that we are going to use has three holes. The middle hole will take the jacket off, but don't try to do too much at once because you can break it. Take your time and do step by step. Now we will move on to the small hole where this will remove the remaining coating on the fiberglass. As you are doing this, make sure that you are keeping your strippers clean. One thing that you need to remember is that you always want to clean your glass before you cleave. If there is any remaining coating, it is not going to cleave. So what you're going to do is you are going to want to clean it until you hear it squeak. Gives a whole new meaning to squeaky clean. Now the Bridge Cable team does have a select variety of cleavers, but today we're going to be working on this one. But no matter what cleaver you are using, make sure that it does lay flat when you are putting it in. This will help so that way it does cleave correctly and not on an angle. As you insert one side of the fiber optic cable, there is a little slot which you will be able to see when you are closer up to the unit. You will also be placing, before you do start, a heat shrink onto the wire. So go ahead and close the trays, close the lid, and hit set. Now you just wait and watch the screen as it shows you each side of your cleaved fiber and it will pull it together. You do want to keep note of the decibel loss, however. The Fusion Splicer also does a tension test as well. Go ahead and pull out the newly fused fiber, lay it down in the tray, and as you pull it down, there is a little bar that will also close the window for you. This will then trigger the heat lamp, which is a little red light, and you will wait until that light goes off, and then you can lay it in the cooling tray. Don't forget to stop by Bridge Cable's YouTube channel frequently for new content.